Hello and welcome to episode 89 of Dorky's Entropia Universe Report. I would like to apologize for today's episode being so short, but I find it rather difficult to focus on stuff today due to a massive migraine that refuses to go away. That mostly means that I won't talk about loads of random poop this time around and hopefully I will be back to my old talkative self in the next week's episode. Anyway, episode 89 covers my avatar activities, progress and investment returns for the week from 1st to 8th of February 2021. So let's get into the Entropia Universe stuff proper now. I spent most of the week sweating as I did not have the time to play actively, but I did have the time to turret dry haters and grab a fresh one every hour or so. Sucking haters kinda sucks, but I gained almost half a level in my sweat gatherer profession and the 15,000 or so bottles of the sticky, foul smelling, mind force imbued substance, otherwise known as sweat, were a nice bonus to go with that. I now have to wear a gas mask every time I visit my storage unit though. Perhaps I failed to properly seal some of those bottles. Or it might be that pile of common dung emitting such foul smell. I found it while mining on Sunday and it seemed like a shame to leave it there. Free shit is free shit, right? Either way, I had an interesting random conversation while sweating. It was about what effects, if any, does the level 100 in sweat gatherer profession have on the amount of sweat gained. I do not think there is anyone with such high levels and I do recall people with levels above 50 stating that there seems to be no effect at all and I am inclined to believe that those higher level sweaters are right. However, that skill interval progress bar in the progress window does make one wonder if there might be something there. I am level 37 sweat gatherer right now and I must say that I have not noticed any difference over the years as I was skilling up to this point. However, that progress bar tells me I am only 37% maxed on the sweating tool. That could potentially mean that it maxes out at level 100 like the old school weapons do and that you will be able to use it to its full potential at that level. But of course it could also just mean that Mindark did not think about tools and other items like this when implementing that particular feature, because I do remember that bar showing nonsense a few times in the past when I was using tools that I do have maxed out already. I would like to know what do you think about this regardless of your sweat gatherer level. Please do tell me in the comments below. It would be quite nice if there was an actual advantage to having high sweat gatherer level. Although as I already stated before, I am inclined to think that there is nothing to that idea even though it does make logical sense as long as we assume that Mindark actually implemented the progress bar feature correctly. Anyway, let's move on. Sweating was not the only in-game activity that I did over the last 7 days. I also did some AFK crafting on Explo 1 blueprint, both on Rocktropia and Tulan. The results were not bad, I just about broke even and I am tempted to go to Arcadia for a bit this week, or perhaps the next week. I would replace my Rocktropian idle activity, which is sweating, with Explo 1 over on Arcadia and do mostly mining at times when I do have time to play Entropia actively. Although I might also decide to stay on Rocktropia and sweat between my mining runs and perhaps continue hunting with sands as well. Those dozens and dozens of boobies swinging up and down all over the parking lot are rather mesmerizing. By the way, I had a bit more time on Sunday, so I did a 500 drop mining run which ended up in a nice profit, 
that gets even more lovely after markup. However, since I did make a nice TT profit, I expect Luteus to jump out of a bush somewhere in the wilderness when there are no witnesses around and go to town on my pet card until all that TT profit vanishes into thin air. I should still be fine after markup though, since most of what I found was alternative rock and other stuff that can be sold at a decent markup like Belkar and Gezurdite. By the way, I still have ways to go before I reach my goal of level 50 in my prospector profession. I guess some would say that I am almost there, but I do have 1.35 levels left to go. That will take ages while doing unamped mining. I might eventually craft some D-class amps if I stay on Rocktropia, but maybe I won't. I am not sure if I want to risk the sort of disaster a bad mining run with those amps could lead to. It will be smarter to stick to unamped mining for now and perhaps switch back to amped mining later when I have made enough profit to have large enough budget for those sorts of stakes. After all, one does have to manage the pet flow properly to stay ahead and profit in the long run. Whatever the case though, I plan to keep going and staying in the green. Well, except for those random hunts and recycle crafting runs that I sometimes do when I am a bit too bored with the smart play. I also sometimes do those things to get video material for these videos that would be at least marginally interesting to watch. Like the Leviathan hunting and the Explore Recycle 1 crafting run in today's episode. Anyway, that is enough about my activities, progress and plans for the week. Which brings us to the share payouts for the week. I will start with the Ancient Greece shares today. They actually paid out their one pack this week and I am starting to think that the original stack might actually sell out at some point in the distant future. At least if they do keep paying like this in the long run. But please do not take this as an advice to buy them. They still do skip payouts some weeks and they are still a rather risky investment in my opinion. I do not see them going up in value until that original stack priced at 10 pet per share sells out and even then not unless they actually start paying out every single week with some of the payouts being for more than that basic one cent. And while right now it seems possible, maybe even likely to happen in the future, I would urge you to keep in mind that we are also likely to see new shares being introduced either this year or next year. Maybe some new shares coming in the future turn out to be a much better investment. So what I am trying to say here is that please be careful and only invest what you can afford to lose into ancient Greece shares at this point in time. I do not know anything that you don't in this regard, but I am paranoid as fuck right now because of the migraine. Anyway, Crystal Palace shares paid out 2 packs per share today and they keep selling at about 17 ped and 80 pack. However, their price did dip a bit lower at least at one point during the week when it went as low as 17.29 ped. Or perhaps even lower, but that was the point at which I randomly checked the, the prices of the stacks available on the market. To conclude, last 7 days were alright even though I did not have much time to play Entropia Universe actively. I did do many hours of idle activities though, namely sweating and explore one crafting. And I did do a little bit of hunting and mining on top of that. My total skill count did not go up by much, only few hundred points and I did not gain any hit points. However, I am still happy with the progress I made over the week. I think I will do a lot more mining over the coming weeks, but 
As always, the real life might decide to intervene. Mining requires a lot of free time, so please do tune in next week to find out whether I ended up having enough time to follow through on that front or whether I ended up mostly sweating and AFK crafting most of the week. The thing I want the most at the moment though is for this poopy migraine to sod off and leave me alone. Anyway, my loot was mostly alright this week, but what about your loot? Was it decent or are you experiencing a downswing? And what sort of activities have you been up to in Entropia Universe lately? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching. I hope you will have a lovely day today. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, sorry about my voice being all screwed up today. I spent a lot of time snoring like a chainsaw during the night.